All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakak with Das. Want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. And it's just here, Shalom, to the Akim out here that's doing the pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, um, title of this video is Don't Let the Cares of This World, okay, uh, choke this word. Okay. Or stunt your growth. Okay. This is um Mark 4, 4 and 18. And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word and the cares of this world. Okay. And a lot of the cares of this world, okay, go to um, you know, uh financial responsibilities. Um, your woman, okay, your job, um, your children, okay, um, you know, uh, probably not having enough time, okay, but the thing is, like, all of those things, especially time, okay, if you feel as though that you don't have no mu that much time, you still supposed to make time for the Lord, make time for the word, okay? Um, you know, have that work life balance. Okay, that um that uh which this this truth is our life, okay? Um have that uh you know, okay, yeah, you know, you may have a family and stuff like that, but get into these scriptures, okay? Get into the spirit, and um, you know when 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 it when it's a saying called when it, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Okay, so we got to get going, man. Okay, throughout all of the toughness that's in our life. Okay, in this 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 bullshit world. Okay, that is our hell. Okay. So it says, and the deceitfulness of riches, because you know, at the end of the day, we that's in the know know that this 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 money, it's all bullshit. Okay, all of these financial problems, they are all bullshit. Okay. It says, and the lust of other things entering in, choke the word, and it becomes unfruitful. Okay. So a lot of the stuff that you know, we uh have to deal with in this world, okay. You shouldn't let allow it to, to stop this word, okay, from being fruitful, okay, or stop you from doing this work, okay, and worshiping our Lord and Savior, you know, Yahweh Basim Yahusha. Okay? It's Proverbs twenty three and five. Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? Okay. And a lot of people, you know, they set their, their eyes on things that are, are going to be here today, but tomorrow could be gone, man. Okay. Uh, it says, for riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle toward heaven. Okay. And that's not just necessarily talking about um, you know, money, it could be a material possession that you may have, okay, you may have a decent computer, okay, you may think like, yeah, man, you know, that computer, you know, got me through a lot, man, but then guess what, you end up losing that computer, do that mean that you stop doing videos, no, still could do, a, do it off your phone, okay, still being in, in the spirit, man, okay, but all of these things that, that are in front of us are, are temporary, okay? And you shouldn't, um, you know, set your eyes on the fact that you may have lost something, okay, in this, this, this society because the Lord, the Lord knows what we need, man, okay? He knows everything, man, okay? Uh, this is uh, Luke 12 and 27. Consider the lilies, how they grow. 
they toil not, they spin not. And yet I say unto you that Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Right? Let's see what lilies, okay, look like. Okay, which is a beautiful planet, okay, that, you know, the Lord uh, made, okay? Uh, it's like, I, I don't know if I said planet, but I meant to say plant, okay, a beautiful plant, okay? But um, continuing on, it says, uh, Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed like one of these. If then God so clothed the grass, which is today in the field, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he cloth you, O, little, o ye of little faith? Okay? So, you see these beautiful plants that the Lord, you know, put together. Okay? Our creator. Okay? How much more the problems that we go through, you know, are we supposed to have faith in, in, in the Lord, man? Okay, it says, how much more will he cloth you, O ye of little faith? Okay, and it says, and seek not what you shall eat or what you shall drink, neither be ye of, of a doubtful mind. Okay, so you're not supposed to be doubting, okay? It says, for all these things do the nations of the world seek after, and your father knows that you have need of these things. So, so our Lord knows the things that we need, okay? So if you end up losing your job, okay, losing the house that you may be in, okay, losing a, a, a loved one, um, losing your car, you know, because that's, that's a rich also. Um, just don't lose this truth, man. Okay. Don't, don't get, don't, don't be in that. Oh, I can't do videos. Spirit. Okay. Don't, don't be in that. Oh, I gotta, you know, come to camp lead. Yeah. You do whatever you can for, for the Lord. Okay. But when you going through hell and you, you, you catch a hell. Especially during the time of Jacob's trouble, man. You're not supposed to be be, be uh, of a doubtful mind. Okay? See what this word it says? A feeling of uncertainty or lack of conviction. Okay? Because we're, we're for certain that the Lord is real, man. Okay? It says a formal de declaration that someone is guilty of a... a a criminal offense made by the verdict of a jury or the decision of a judge in a court of law, which we are going through this hell because we we're um we're guilty, man, of going off against the Lord. Okay. It says a uh, a firmly held belief or opinion. Okay. So we supposed to hold firm onto our belief that the Lord is in control of everything. Okay, and 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 you know hold our position, man. Okay, in this truth, the same the same way you came into this truth, you was you was catching hell back then more than likely. Did the Lord not uh, deliver you through those situations? Okay, so it say that the Lord knows the things that we need. We have we have the Lord with us. That's that's our our uh, comfort. Okay. Even in the fact that we all are, are being oppressed. Okay, if you're not catching hell in this truth, something is wrong. Okay? It says, but rather seek ye the kingdom of Yah by Shemyal Shah, and all these things shall be added unto you. Okay, so that's where our, our mindset at, man. Okay? We may end up getting sick. May have to, you know, take care of someone that's sick. Okay, but our mindset is that the Lord is the one who's in control of everything, man. Okay? Because he wants us to 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 love him and to focus on him. 
If you don't do that, then what else you got, man? Okay? Yeah, you may end up uh, uh, getting through your situation without, you know, um, the Lord's help, right? And then guess what? You end up going through a financial problem and you're not doing the videos no more, right? You don't, you're not in the spirit, right? The Lord delivers you out of this situation or he don't deliver you. You find a way to get up out of it. And the next thing you know, you end up getting destroyed after you feel as though that, you know, you done handled the situation the proper way, but you didn't. We got to continue to hold firm on to the Lord, you know, and deal with the problems as they come along, you know, because we just, we just do things, man. But, but when it comes down to, um, caring about, you know, what tomorrow may hold, you don't know what tomorrow may hold. And then you, you know, we know that tomorrow, tomorrow that the Lord is there just because we may not be there tomorrow. You know, if, if something happens to us, we know that the Lord is still going to be there because he, he's existing forever. Okay. And as long as we hold firm on to the Lord, okay, the little bullshit that we going through is nothing, man. Okay. So it's, it's the Lord's pleasure to give us the kingdom. Okay. Luke 21 and 34. And take heed to yourselves, lest that, lest that any time your hearts be overcharged with surfing and drunkenness. Okay. And when you're drunk, you're not sober. Okay. It says, and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you unawares. Because you're caring about all of this bullshit out here, okay? And then next thing you know, hey, the, the dollar bill crashes. And you sitting up here thinking like, yo, like I was sitting up here, you know, stressing out about this stuff. You know, the dollar bill crashes, but your mindset wasn't on the truth when that dollar bill uh, crashed. I mean, up until that point that it, that it crashed. So now you don't know whether or not the Lord going to have mercy on you, man. Because you was caring about everything else except for the fact that the Lord was basically in, in charge, man. Okay? So you don't want that day of the Lord to come upon you unawares. It says, for as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Cause that's what our hope is, man. That when your hour side comes, that we're found worthy, okay, of escaping this bullshit that that you know we're we're dealing with right now. But even with the fact that we're dealing with the bullshit, the Lord is still there, okay, and He wants us to continue to to to, to serve Him, man. Okay, continue to have that faith, okay, to have that hope, okay. So don't don't let the cares of this world, okay, have you as them thorns, man. I mean, among among them thorns and, and stunting your growth in the spirit. Okay, you gotta keep on fighting, man. Okay, cause all this stuff, you know, sometimes it it you know that that sand when it when it rains it pours, it continues to come down on you. You know, one thing happens and then the next thing happens. You know, and I'm saying this, you know, from experience, cause hey, I'm going through it right now and i'm pretty sure other brothers are going through you know their uh bullshit you know but but at the end of the day we still supposed to have that faith that the lord is going to come and and handle everything man okay so with that man you know just keep the faith man okay and and, and don't let this truth be unfruitful to you man okay so with that, you don't want to say Shalom.